Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Reinventing the Wheel. No, really. Um, so, we got some megalithics finally. They came back into stock. And uh, we were going to try them out on Alley. Uh, but we have a little bit of a complication. And I'll show you what I mean. So, if we got this tire on here, after we've installed our Enjora inserts... See that slop? We are, we're okay this way because they're thinner than the, uh, than the ruptures just by a bit. So you remember if you watched that episode, we had to put a, a foam shim in there. Well, we didn't have to do that with this, but now we got a problem where she's sloppy because she's sliding around back and forth. She's not quite large enough to fill up the, uh, the tire. So, uh, ta-da, we uh, cut into the foams that came with them. They became donors, and now look at this. I've already done a couple. Nothing. Perfect. Not overdone. She's, she's good. She's soft still. No problems. So, uh, we're going to get into that, and I'll show you uh, what's going on there. So as you can see, we have our outer ring foam, which I just cut with a, uh, a blade following along, turning it ever so slightly, just like this, all the way around, a few times on each side. Um, and this essentially just fits in there, like so. Just giving it enough so that we're, we're filling that up. So, that being said, uh, when you do put her together, you have a dual compound insert. Ah, not a, not dual stage foam, dual compound insert. Oh, I'm going to be rich. That's my million dollar idea. Look at what we got. Ah, fairly decent fit. It's nice and snug. It's not going to slide around anymore. Um, and, and it should be should be fine we got a little bit of crinkle in there but that's not a big deal as uh when she goes into any tire she's gonna have that on the inside anyway so look there we go nice and good so that's what she's gonna look like on the inside of the tire so we're gonna still have that stability from side to side and she's gonna be nice and nice and soft on the front all right let's go stick that in the tire now, uh, the megalithics. I'm assuming that most most people will be running them with these little ridges facing forwards, as they would be uh, grabbing hold of the the edge. I can put my finger on there, or my thumb on there, and I can feel it grabbing. So I'm going to do that. As, uh, they are a directional tire, depending on which direction you want to put them on. I don't know. But I'm doing it that way. You can do it how you want. All right, so we got her down on the course, and we're going to take her up waterfall, see how she does as soon as I turn her on. <laughs> that always helps. All right. Absolutely no scrubbing on these tires yet. Definitely a lot of crinkle. All right, try up Goliath here. Getting 
position I can actually see where I'm driving. Uh, we're going to skip through all the fail. Uh, the tires were not doing well on Goliath at all. We could barely even get her up. Seems to not want to go up the normal route for Alley. Side lugs will dig in. And then pull her back. It's almost like she's got too much, uh, too much grip. She grabs, tucks, but because she can't maintain uh, grip between the lugs, she slips and bounces. sucked into that hole. It didn't matter which uh, which run we went up, the side lugs, as soon as the side wall was catching the back side of the tire, the, the ridges of the lug would actually rip the truck backwards instead of allowing it to go forwards as it normally does anyway. But it was so apparent that the grip was facing the opposite direction as opposed to the direction we're trying to go that we uh, decided that we should probably change the tire. I think what I may try is uh, I may try turning the tires around and uh, see if we get any difference. I have a feeling that that might actually be the case. We've changed our tires around. Let's see if this makes any difference whatsoever. Well, I'm going to say 100%. That made a huge, huge, huge difference. Okay, let's try this way. I remember back in the day, Allie couldn't do this at all. Now, she conquers it. Whoa. Sorry about that light. Okay, so this is the rock we were having issues <clears throat> on the side lug.
Oh yes, where's Ben? That's the uh, the challenge of the, the Easter egg. Well, after uh, driving up many obstacles with the tires reversed, I have decided that I was wrong. Yeah, I was wrong about which direction they should be facing. So, uh, if you're curious about what I was doing, so your pointy little teeth here should be facing backwards. And uh, yeah, so your little arrow forwards I'm assuming unless that works differently for you in another way so that being said we will we'll do a tire test uh, against the tusks tomorrow and uh, we'll cut the video here so have a good one guys yeah and I have some more to say <laughs>